What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here with another Bricklink haul review video. So, got this package in the mail, it's together with the last package we had over here. Gonna be a separate video though, so you'll see that one coming on YouTube a little bit earlier than this one, but whatever. So, we got this big box here, pretty big box, and you like that sound, so uh, I'll open this up. Uh, this is one of my most expensive Bricklink hauls ever, so... Still not much, it was only about like 68 euros, so but for breaking order, pretty much, but it's because it features a lot of base plates. So, first of all, shout out to Fabrics, this is a Belgium based uh, Brickling store, so I got them from, the, from here. But these, especially for as you can see, a little sneak peek in the box there for these pretty cool base plates. Um, I will be showing you in a minute. So right here we have this amazing base plate, which I'm so proud to finally own. I've been wanting this set since I was a little kid. This is from set 5978. The Sphinx Secret Surprise. It's from the Adventurer series with Johnny Thunder and all that. And it had an epic Sphinx, epic black tent as well. Still want that. Still do want the original set as well, but either way, this I will use probably for the underwater area because I'm trying to make like an underwater Egyptian area, whatever, like sunken Egyptian thing. Or yeah, as you know, there are a lot of Egyptian artifacts found in the ocean, not really sunken. They were probably there because the water was uh, a lot lower before. So either way, really digging this base plate. I have another one of this from the Ogle, Ogle's hideout, the same type of um, base plate, different pattern though, but I'm really loving it. And this would be so cool for an ocean floor or whatever. A desert is cool as well, but for my city, it would be best to put this in a beach underwater uh, area as I do have a broken Egyptian temple somewhere that I can put in there. So on to the next one. We got this epic base plate. So cool looking. I do own one of these already, but I was thinking of Rebuilding the castle because this is from if I'm not mistaken. I didn't look this up for at first But I think it's from a Knight's Kingdom series one castle if I'm not mistaken, which had the um, The blue the blue and red but not the regular blue it had like uh, I don't know which type of blue it is But either way, it's a different type of blue than blue than the regular blue and a different type of red as well and it, uh, it had like the Knights uh, like you had the green knight, the uh, red knight, the blue knight, the purple knight, and then the king, and the bad guys were like the scorpion, whatever warriors. But it, this is the classic, classical base plate, the raised base plate. It does have a piece, a chipped out piece out here, I see, which I did not see in the description. So that's a mistake for me. It's probably in the description though. So whatever, I paid 12, dollars, uh, 12 euros for this which is pretty cheap if I compare them with other sellers, so that's probably why. But we can just put it in the back and make it look like nothing happened. So, all right. On to the next parts. We got two of these classic police drive uh, driveways or whatever it's called. We got two of these, gonna put them right behind each other next to the police station, next to the Bruce Wayne Manor, which you will see in a future LEGO City video. Alright, so on to the next, we got these dark grey driveways as well, always pretty handy to make like a parking space or whatever, just to fill up some city area, uh, you know, got these, fit, they fit very nice uh, with the road plates, so that's why I bought them, they were so cheap, I believe these were 1 euro per piece, these were 75 cents per piece if I'm not mistaken, yes, exactly, and um, yeah, so always pretty handy to fill up some base with the base plate so next we got four of these gray uh, which are i believe 16 by 32 uh, yeah, together they are 32 by 32 if you put them together so got four of these they were three and a half euros each which i don't know if it's cheap or not but either way it was cheap enough for me to say right, i'm gonna buy four of these uh, always come in handy as well as i said they match the road plates very nicely so and then out here i have this this one away for a second. I have this old base plate, like this old, I think from the, the late 80s, begin 90s, I'm not really sure from the Lego system. Um, and this was only 
one euro I think one euro and a bit but it's because it has a small like fracture on here or the paint got removed I'm not sure how somebody like scratched some some hard thing on there either way it doesn't really matter to me because I'm probably gonna use this maybe underneath the the hill level so under the tunnel or like the beginning of the tunnel this is gonna where this is where the tunnel will end up in so you will see this from the outside but you will probably not be able to see the scratch all right excuse me so uh for one euro i thought yeah okay base plate you know I'll, i can always do something else with it so, all right then i got three of these blue base plates the regular classic ones that you can buy in the store but these were only six euros instead of eight euros so i thought yeah you know there's not a lot of discount on these plates so whenever they are there are oh, i try to buy them so i got three of these and they are perfectly the amount that i need because i need two for the, the docks area and then i need one more for to fill up the beach area so uh, i moved the beach area a bit back i'll show you guys in a future video uh, because it features a plexiglass piece so you can look underneath the water so you can see also the underwater area where i'm going to be putting it. I'm gonna be putting this piece as well, so it's pretty cool, but we moved it a little bit back. So now we got the plexiglass, but behind we got two regular blue plates, which make it look a little bit better in my opinion. So, all right, moving on to the next more specialized pieces, like these printed pieces. Um, I'm just gonna ditch these right here. So yeah, like that. Then I'm going to start off with the first piece, which is this cool looking Asian type piece. Uh, it's from set number 2504, the Spinjitsu Dojo. And it's pretty cool. I've been collecting a lot of these Asian parts, as you can tell from my other brick haul uh, videos, brick link haul videos, uh, because I'm going to make some random stuff for the Ninjago City. And I need some Asian things for that or um cyberpunk whatever so futuristic asian things are always very cool uh onto the next thing we have right here this little clip piece with a warning sign the sticker is mounted on pretty crooked though so i'm not really liking that either way it doesn't matter i'm gonna use this probably for an underground section where you have some of these uh power miners this is from power miner set called set 8191 lava truss which is, uh, I think, uh, a play on words for Alcatraz because it features a prison type thing for this lava monster which lives underground. It's the second series from the Power Miners where they had these like extremely hot temperature close to the ground, uh, close to the core of the mountain. So, all right, moving on to the next piece, we got this Slytherin piece, which is very cool. I really like this. First, I thought this this came with the um, Chamber of Secrets sets, uh, set, which I have. Um, but this is actually from the 4735 random set called just Slytherin, which, which is like um, the room of Slytherin, like where they, they come together. It has like Draco Malfoy and his two like dumb buddies uh, with it. And I also used to have this set, so I have another of these. So they'll fit pretty cool somewhere, wherever. I, I think this is supposed to be like a fireplace or something with the, the guard there, but either way. Now I got two of these so I can use them. This one is in better condition than mine though. My Lego set has had some uh, ups and downs and it had some spilling on it, uh, which widened, uh, which yellowed a lot of bricks. So either way, moving on to the next. Got three of these pretty cool patterns. Uh, you can probably recognize them immediately from the 1999 <clears throat> Gungan sub, set number 7161. Um, the set itself features four of these, however these, these are a little bit dirty. Uh, but now I bought three of these, also very cheap, also probably going to use these in combination with, the, with one of the windows that I bought in a recent Bricklink haul. And it would be pretty cool maybe in the Asian, Asian part, I'm not really sure for what, but we'll see. Uh, to use these because they have such a cool texture on them, so. Alright, now I'm, I'm in pattern, so. Uh, the next piece I got is Two of these, which you can see are upside down stickers with sharp edges. It says sharp edges. And this is from the Grand Titan set number 7701. It's an Exoforce uh, set. 
I used to have a lot of Exo Force sets because me and my brother really liked those ones with special hair and, and cool, cool robots and everything. So that's why we bought a lot of those. But I'm not sure. I think the stickers on mine are like <laughs> already gone for a long time. So I bought these also very cheap. Uh, another piece in, our, in the last Bricklink haul as well from the same set. Came from the same set, the Grand Titan. So very, very cool. All right, moving on. Right here we have this big panel. This is obviously NBA. Uh, basketball like backboard so I got a lot of these as well pretty cool to make yeah to make a backboard for a basketball court or whatever but uh, I would also I could also use these just a red one just as a, a red panel for some some red building I would, would be making because I have a lot of these but I, I want to use them for the basketball fields then but yeah either way moving on we got these one by two by two, um, two times, so a lot of twos, <laughs> two times this uh, Octan logo. So I always love the Octan, also. it's like one of the corporations that the Lego every Lego city needs to have. You have Octan, you have Shell as well, but it's a bit more older, the Shell, uh, the Shell uh, company and, and the collaboration with, from, with Shell, from Shell with Lego. So now, right now, it's all Octan, so I really like that. Got a lot of Octan pieces, so spread them throughout the city, so they have a, a presence in the city somewhere. All right, moving on to the next part, we got this. Uh, when this Octan piece came from set number 3180 tank truck, uh, and it's pretty cool. I have some parts of it as well. I got them in a, in a, in a haul that I bought from, a, from somebody a few, a year ago or something, so. All right, either way, now next we got this Wanted. This poster, Wanted poster, pretty cool. Probably the sticker is pretty crooked though. I don't like that. It's pretty hard to tell but when you're buying it if it's put on correctly or not. But either way, probably gonna put this somewhere to the side of a building. Not really gonna put it inside the police station because yeah, then only police <laughs> police persons would know that this guy's Wanted. So everybody in the city needs to know that this guy's Wanted. So um, I'm gonna put it somewhere like, place with some graffiti or whatever so yeah either way next we have we have this one right here which if I'm not mistaken comes from the set 4440 forest police station and it's pretty cool it features a key a wanted poster and then like a uh, a newspaper which they stuck to the yeah, to the wall or whatever and uh, it's pretty cool this I'm probably gonna put in the in a police station or in, in the police station that I have at the moment because it uses a lot of these 1x2x5 um, column pieces, the, the white ones. So I'll probably replace a few of those so I can use them again in another um, another place because I need a lot of those. Then moving on, I got two of these. These are not wanted, but this is like, I don't know, employee of the month or something. Um, <laughs> Like a police, this is like a, I don't know, a commissioner or whatever. And uh, he's so important that they got him on the wall, even though this part is a bit dirty. I'm gonna clean it though. Yeah, all right. Oh, it comes off like that, chill. Um, so I got two of these, probably also gonna hang these in the police station or wherever. I'm not really sure why, where, but we'll see in the future. All right, moving on, got some. Five of these milk cartons, which I still need to cheese slope for, but I have a lot of those, so that's no problem. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why I bought these. They were pretty cheap and I thought, yeah, maybe for like grocery store or whatever. So yeah, then next on the list, we got this TNT explosive. Uh, this is a Minecraft TNT, it comes in a few Minecraft sets. I always love Minecraft a lot. So I got some cool builds on there, which I hope to show you guys in the future as well, if it's possible, when my computer is not broken, when it's fixed. And then we got the last part of the haul, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is the last part, which is this cool panel piece, which comes from the Aqua Zone sets. It uh, comes in quite a few sets of them, but the first one I got here is set number 6175, Crystal Explorer sub. Uh, yeah, I do like these. I have the Aqua Zone station, got some other Aqua Zone stuff, so I'll probably put this somewhere under in the underwater section as well. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, all right, guys, uh, a lot of base plates in this one. Uh, a lot of cool stuff to put in the city. I'm gonna put it in there right after I film this video. So yeah, if you guys like this type, these types of videos, you can follow me, uh, subscribe, 
like this video leave a comment always whenever you got something to say uh, uh, or some uh, suggestions what i should do what i could do what i what i said wrong maybe <laughs> so uh either way follow my instagram got a lot more stuff on there um yeah like subscribe comment and please don't mind, mind my accent because i'm not a native uh, american or english speaker i'm very sorry for that sorry for the stuttering either way i'm gonna leave it at that bye bye see you guys in my next video